The British Aerospace Jetstream is a small twin turboprop airliner, with a pressurized fuselage, developed as the Jetstream 31 from the earlier Handley Page Jetstream. Development Scottish Aviation had taken over production of the original Jetstream design from Handley Page and when it was nationalised along with other British companies into British Aerospace in 1978, BAE decided the design was worth further development, and started work on a Mark III Jetstream. As with the earlier 3M version for the USAF, the new version was re-engined with newer Garrett turboprops now Honeywell TPE 331, which offered more power flat rated to 1,020 shp, 760 kW with a thermodynamic limit of 1,100 shp, 820 kW and longer overhaul intervals over the original Turbomeca Astazu engines. This allowed the aircraft to be offered in an 18-seat option six rows, two plus one, with an offset aisle, and with a water methanol option for the engine to allow the ability to operate at maximum load from a greater range of airfields, particularly in the continental United States and Australia. The result was the Jetstream 31, which first flew on 28 March 1980, being certificated in the UK on 29 June 1982. The new version proved to be as popular as Handley Page hoped the original model would be, and several hundred 31s were built during the 1980s. In 1985, a further engine upgrade was planned, which flew in 1988 as the Jetstream Super 31, also known as the Jetstream 32. Production continued until 1993, by which time 386 and 31 32s had been produced. Four Jetstream 31s were ordered for the Royal Navy in 1985 as radar observer trainers, the Jetstream T.3, but were later used for VIP transport. In 1993, British Aerospace adopted the Jetstream name as its brand name for all twin turboprop aircraft. As well as the Jetstream 31 and Jetstream 32, it also built the related Jetstream 41 and the unrelated, but co-branded BAE ATP, Jetstream 61. The Jetstream 61 name was never used in service, and retained its ATP marketing name. In July 2008, a BAE systems team that included Cranfield Aerospace and the National Flight Laboratory Center at Cranfield University achieved a major breakthrough in unmanned air systems technology. The team flew a series of missions, totaling 800 miles kilometers, in a specially modified Jetstream 31 without any human intervention, this was the first time such an undertaking had been achieved. Variants <inaudible> 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 Jetstream 31 airliner, 18 19th passenger commuter airliner. Jetstream 31 corporate, 12 passenger executive transport aircraft. Jetstream 31 EP, enhanced performance. Jetstream 31 EZ, EEZ or maritime patrol version. Jetstream executive shuttle, 12 seat executive transport aircraft. Jetstream 31 Special, Utility Transport Aircraft Jetstream 32 EP, Enhanced Performance, 19 people Jetstream QC Quick Change Operators <inaudible> 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 In July 2018, 91 Jetstream 31s were in airline service, 62 in Americas, 16 in Europe, 8 in Asia Pacific and 5 in Africa. Its airline operators with 5 or more aircraft were Northwestern Air P. 
Pascan Aviation SARPA AIS Airlines and S. Servicios Aereos Profesionales Aerolínea de Antioquia Transmandu Fly Pelican Topic: Accidents and Incidents On May 26, 1987, a Continental Express flight, operated by Air New Orleans with a British Aerospace BAE Jetstream 31 registration N331CY flying as Flight 2962, crash-landed just after takeoff from New Orleans International Airport. The plane crashed into eight lanes of traffic and subsequently injured two persons on the ground. There were no fatalities among the 11 occupants. On 26 December 1989, United Express Flight 2415 operated by N410UE of North Pacific Airlines crashed short of the runway at Tri-Cities Airport, Washington, USA. The crew executed an excessively steep and unstabilized ILS approach. That approach, along with improper air traffic control commands and aircraft icing, caused the aircraft to stall. Both crew members and all four passengers were killed. On 12 March 1992, a deadheading U.S. Air Express Jetstream 31 crashed on landing at McGee-Tyson Airport near Knoxville, Tennessee after the pilot failed to lower the landing gear. There were no passengers aboard, however the two crew members were killed. On 1 December 1993, Northwest Airlink Flight 5719 had a controlled flight into terrain killing all crew and passengers. On 13 December 1994, flagship airlines Flight 3379 stalled and crashed while on approach to Raleigh Durham International Airport in the United States, killing 13 of the 18 passengers and both crew members. The captain mistakenly thought that an engine had failed and decided to abandon the landing approach, then lost control of the aircraft. On 21 May 2000, an East Coast Aviation Services Jetstream N16EJ crashed into terrain on the flight's second approach into Wilkes-Barre, Scranton International Airport, killing all 19 occupants. On 8 July 2000, Aerocaribe Flight 7831 crashed into a mountainous area as the aircraft was on approach into Carlos Rovarosa Perez International Airport and killed all 19 passengers and crew. On 19 October 2004, Corporate Airlines Flight 5966 crashed on approach to Kirksville Regional Airport killing 13 out of 15 passengers and crew. On 18 November 2004, Venezolana Flight 213 crashed into a fire station on landing at Simon Bolivar International Airport Venezuela after a flight from Juan Pablo Perez Alfonso Airport. Four passengers were killed out of 21 passengers and crew. On 8 February 2008, Eagle Airways Flight 2279 was hijacked by a passenger over New Zealand just after taking off from Woodbourne Airport. The co-pilot managed to restrain the hijacker eventually and the aircraft landed safely at Christchurch International Airport. The two pilots and one passenger were injured in the hijacking. On 8 March 2012, BAE Jetstream 3102 GCCPW of Lynx Air, operating Manx 2 Flight 302 from Leeds Bradford Airport, United Kingdom to Ronaldsway Airport, Isle of Man, departed the runway on landing at Ronaldsway. The aircraft was substantially damaged when the starboard undercarriage collapsed. There were no injuries amongst the 12 passengers and two crew. Following the 8 March 2012 crash, the same BAE Jetstream 3102 suffered a similar incident, again operated by Lynx Air under a new registration, when it crashed at Doncaster's Robin Hood Airport on a flight from Belfast on 15 August 2014. 
This further incident came after reported problems with its undercarriage while landing. The single passenger was taken to hospital for reported minor injuries. On 12 October 2014, an engine of a Jetstream 32 aircraft belonging to Air Century Airlines caught fire while landing after a charter flight from Luis Munoz Marin International Airport in Puerto Rico to Punta Cana International Airport in the Dominican Republic. The aircraft was destroyed in the subsequent fire. There were no injuries among the 13 passengers and two crew members on the flight. The crew handled the situation in a timely and professional manner, avoiding any casualties. July 2018, an engine of a Jetstream 32 aircraft belonging to Servicios Aereos Profesionales SAP Air failed in the climb out at 5,000 feet on departure from Santa Clara Airport, SNU, Cuba. The aircraft, carrying a positioning crew for Thomas Cook Airlines UK returned to the airport. Specifications Jetstream 31 Data from Jane's All the World's Aircraft, 1988–1989 General Characteristics Crew, 2 Capacity: 19 passengers. Length: 47 feet 1 and 3 quarters in 14.37 meters. Wingspan: 52 feet 0 in 15.85 meters. Height: 17 feet 5 and a half in 5.32 meters. Wing area: 271 feet squared, 25.2 square meters. Airfoil, NACA 63A418 at root, NACA 63A412 at tip Empty weight, 9,613 pounds 4,360 kilograms Max, take-off weight, 15,332 pounds 6,950 kilograms Powerplant, 2 times Garrett TPE 331 UG turboprop, 940 shp 701 kilowatts each performance Maximum speed, 263 knots 303 miles per hour, 488 kilometers per hour Cruise speed: 230 knots, 264 miles per hour, 426 kilometers per hour. Stall speed: 86 knots, 99 miles per hour, 159 kilometers per hour. Range: 680 nmi, 783 miles, 1,260 kilometers. Service ceiling: 25,000 feet, 7,620 meters. Rate of climb: 2,080 feet per minute, 10.6 meters per second. Wing loading: 56.6 pounds per foot squared, 276 kilograms per square meter. Power: mass: 0.123 horsepower per pound, zero. 201 kilowatts per kilogram topic see also related development british aerospace jetstream 41 aircraft of comparable role configuration and era beechcraft 1900 embraer emb 110 bandirante Embraer, FMACBA 123 Vector Fairchild Swearing and Metroliner Related lists List of civil aircraft <laughs>